This is the part 2 video of the histology of skin. In the first part, we have discussed about the epidermis. Here, we will discuss about the layer dermis. The finger-like projections of the epidermis towards the dermis are called reti ridges or epidermal ridges. And the finger-like projections of the dermis towards the epidermis are called the dermal papilla. And the region of the dermis which is closest to the epidermis is called the papillary dermis. This region is highly vascular. It has blood supplies which supply to the epidermal cells which are living. This portion of the dermis, the vascular portion close to the epidermis is called the papillary dermis and the rest of the dermis is called the reticular dermis which is the deeper part of dermis. These are the blood supply in the dermis which is highly vascular near the epidermis that is in the papillary dermis and it is less vascular in the reticular dermis. The components of reticular dermis. The first component is the hair follicle. This is a hair, a body hair which has its hair follicle in the dermis region. This is the hair follicle present in the dermis. The second component of dermis is the sebaceous gland. These glands produce sebum and sebum is released in the skin to form the skin oily. The next component comes in the dermis is the erector pili muscle which is connected to the hair follicle. It contributes in the erection of the hair during goose bump. And the another component is the sweat glands. These sweat glands produce sweat and release the sweat out of the skin. There are two type of sweat glands present. The one type is ecrine and the another type is apocrine. The apocrine one is connected to the hair follicle and the ecrine sweat gland is independent. Below the dermis is present the hypodermis layer. This is the hypodermis. The hypodermis is consist of the adipose tissues, the fat cells. These store fat beneath the skin. So let's do a recap of the dermis. The dermis is divided into two parts. The first part is the papillary dermis and the other one is the reticular dermis. The papillary dermis is highly vascular. It gives blood supply to the epidermal living cells. And the reticular dermis has more components than papillary dermis. And the first component is the sebaceous gland. It releases sebum which does two functions. First, it lubricates our skin 
and the second it helps in waterproofing our skin and the next component comes is the sweat gland the sweat gland is two types the first is apocrine and the second is eocrine type of sweat glands the eocrine type of sweat gland gives direct secretion but the apocrine secrete via hair follicle during the secretion the apocrine glands release some cytoplasm with the secretion but the eocrine glands gives no cytoplasm in its secretion apocrine glands are found in the pubic region and the underarms and the eocrine are found all over the body the next component of dermis is hair the hair contributes in the heat control mechanism and the next component of dermis the reticular dermis is the erector pili muscles these muscles are connected to the hair follicle which helps in the erection of the hair follicles during goosebumps below the dermis layer is present the hypodermis hypodermis contains adipose tissues or the fat cells the function of it is to store fat and cushion our body and production of heat 